Behind the scenes, behind the lines, inside the stories others won't tell. The Morning Insiders. Duped or dumb? An online truck sale did not go how an Illinois man quite expected. So he does admit his purchase seemed a little too good to be true, but he sunk more than $19,000 worth of savings into it anyway. Morning Insider Lauren Victory gets his money back and shares his message to other buyers. You know, everybody has a dream, right? And Luis Garcia's is owning his own towing business. You break, I tow. The I's were dotted and T's crossed with the state of Florida. Final steps, get the equipment and make the move from Illinois. So Garcia searched Copart, a massive online auto auction company. This beauty popped up through a broker called A Better Bid. Everybody says, you know, if it's too good to be true, don't do it. <laughs> but it is an auction, you know, and it goes by pretty fast. So you really have moments to think about it and to, you know, go with your heart. Well, his heart was broken when he traveled from Forest Park to the truck yard in Louisville, Kentucky. And I was ready to roll, but unfortunately the truck was not in condition to even put on the road. He had to call another tow truck to haul his new purchase away to avoid storage fees. Underneath was rotted through. To fix that truck correctly, it'll, it'll cost over twelve to $15,000. Copar customers can inspect vehicles before purchasing, but Garcia didn't think that was necessary, pointing to the ad. He says undercarriage issues weren't pictured, but they were noted as secondary damage. Primary damage said minor dents and scratches. His calls for a refund didn't go well. They put me on hold, and after 20, 30 minutes, they just click. The wheels were in motion once we got involved. Copart agreed to give Garcia a refund, even expressing gratitude for CBS2's role in making that happen. We care about our buyer's experience, was Copart's explanation in another email. What's the bigger lesson here for anybody that watches this story? Hey, you know, be careful what you buy online. We caught up with Garcia after his $19,000 headache was over. Now I'm on my way to my dream one more time. Thank you. He's already found a new truck. Lauren Victory, CBS2 News. Copart disputes claims that the truck description was inaccurate. A spokesperson also said Garcia wasn't technically a customer of theirs, but a customer of the broker A Better Bid. That company did not answer any of our questions about this transaction. For more stories like this one, download our new app and look for the section called Morning Insider.